Hi Leo, welcome to your weekend love readings for the 13th to the 15th of September. Um, huge shout out to everyone who has been supporting the channel, I really appreciate it. I'm going to start something new from this week where whoever, whichever sign has the most likes at the time that I publish the next set of readings um, will get a bonus reading for the next time period. So if you are interested in getting an extra bonus reading for Leos, please make sure you like this video so that you guys can come out in front. Um, but let's get started for your reading for this weekend. Leo, let's see what's happening in love for you. So, oh, straight away, jumping card. Okay, Queen of Wands. It's a pretty good start to start, a card to start with. I'm tripping over my words. All right, what messages of love have we got for Leo, please? From the 13th to the 15th of September. Ooh. Okay, followed by the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Cups in reverse. So, Leo, this queen could be you. It is a fire sign card. Um, then you've got this page of pentacles, so I feel like maybe you're avoiding having a conversation with someone because you don't want to go over the past again, basically. You're not, um, you're kind of avoiding communication with someone, don't know who, because you don't want to reopen the past, Leo. Got the magician. Yeah, I feel like you're ready to, um, create a bit of a new... A new path for yourself like a new way forward you've got this three of cups so there's probably a lot of social activity starting to happen um i think that now that you're back on the social scene you kind of like it and maybe this other person has come back and tried to communicate with you and you're just not responding um with them yeah nine of wands in reverse so you're, you're kind of like not wanting to go over the past, to be honest. Uh, let's get some more information though. So what's this Queen of Wands, please? What is this Leo? Oh, can't get my... Yeah. Okay, so um, it looks like... <coughs> excuse me. Something ended with you and someone else. Actually, can I have more on the three of Wands in reverse? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they were really into you, um, and you may have been into them, but for whatever reason, that you that's ended, and yeah, eight of cups um, in the upright. So yeah, someone walked away. Could be you, could be them. Either way, someone walked away from this situation. Um, one party, the party that was left, had a lot of love. So this could have been you, this could have been the other person. Um, but someone's come back around by the look of things and has tried to make contact again. Because this page of pentacles, this response offer or response communication is in reverse and it's clarified by the four of cups. So it's, and the queen of cups. So it's like, um, this person has come back around, but you're not really interested. In the meantime, while they've been gone, you've been creating a new reality. You've got the magician here. You've been out on the town. You're probably meeting new people and you've moved on from them. It's done. Um, what's the magician? Yeah, you're absolutely, you're off. Learning new things, meeting new people, having conversations, going out for dinners, drinks, just generally getting on with life. Yeah, you're not interested in putting any more work into that previous situation. You stopped putting work into it. So why have they come back around and why is this your reading? There's always a message. What's the Knight of Wands in reverse? Let's check this out. <clears throat> The hermit, yeah, okay, get it. You've come out of hermit mode. That's another one, please. I'm just telling you the same things over and over again. You might have someone new 
or you've seen someone new. I actually feel like this is you. I know that, again, I know that um, you're a fire and this is a cup, but these two come together for me. So um, I think that you've got your eye on someone new. Okay, who's a new person? Can you tell us anything about the new person, please, for Leo? Okay, could be an earth <clears throat> sign with the pentacles, but they're very uh, generous with love, with affection, and it could be all the things that you didn't have in this previous relationship. Um, they kind of tick all the boxes, and that's why you're not you're not even responding to this person. <laughs> Hierophant just came out, so it looks like this new person that's kind of captured your attention could be the real deal um could be like i said all the things that this person this other you know um person wasn't able to give you the new person is absolutely giving you all right let's see how leo is feeling about all of this this weekend so it looks like someone's going to communicate with you from the past this weekend leo <clears throat> so be prepared you're feeling the five of swords you're probably a little bit defensive you're like we've been through this battle i don't want to do it again i'm done with the battle and the hangman in reverse yeah you're moving on you've moved on from it you're not hung up about it anymore um i'm interested to see what the previous person is thinking what's the previous person what's this person that's coming in and communicating thinking the moon. So it could be Pisces, but they are stuck in their emotions. For them, they come. There's. It's not finished. They've been thinking about you. So maybe it was you that walked away from them. And this is there's there the page of cups over here. But for them, it's not over. Like they still have stuff they want to talk to you about. They they still have a lot of emotion for you. <clears throat> Knight of Swords in reverse. So um, they, they might be a little bit of a bit narcissistic, a bit me, 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 me. Um, and yeah, they, I think there's a bit of entitlement of, well, I should just be able to come in and talk to you whenever I want. They may have ghosted you. I don't know. But in the meantime, you've gone out, you've gone and got yourself back on track and met this amazing new person that's really giving you everything you want, ticking all these boxes and giving you the opportunity of um, a, a solid offer and relationship. What uh, is the most likely outcome here for my Leos, please, for this weekend? Ten of Cups in reverse. Interesting. So what else we've got? Nine of Swords. Okay. I feel like there's going to be a bit of guilt tripping and it's to do with this moon. They're going to try and probably make you feel like you owe them something, like like you have to talk to them because I'm really sorry and I really miss you and I've heard it all before. Seven of Swords, yeah. So they're going to make you feel like the bad guy here, like you're the one that's stolen their heart and run away with it and... Um, they, they're trying to put it back on you. And this is why this nine of swords and ten of... Nine of swords in the upright, ten of cups in reverse is showing up. Yep. Emperor. They're manipulating you. Um, not because they're being deceitful manipulating you. They just like getting what they want. They're probably a strong character. They could be um, an Aries. Um... But they, they are trying to get back on top. Like they're trying to get back in control by pulling on your heartstrings. You know, they know that you've been a sucker for them in the past. So um, they think that they can play this, this moon card business and it will work. Let's see what advice we've got for you. What advice is there for Leo for this weekend? 13th to the 15th, please. Oh, these cards are so cold. Goodness, should have worn them up. Okay. Three of Wands in reverse again. So, a repeating energy here from the past. 
you know, you stick to your guns here. Don't be tricked by this poor me kind of stuff that's going to come out. Too many cards. This one, please. Eight of Pentacles. It's going to be hard work. You know, if you engage in this conversation, it's going to be, it's not going to be an easy conversation. It's going to be a difficult conversation full of twists and turns. It's going to probably be a bit draining. Um, the advice is if you communicate, if you decide to communicate back with this Page of Swords, it needs to be truthful communication. Don't um, feel like you need to soften anything for them or like you should have anything to be guilty about. It's possible too that they've been spying on you and they've seen that you've moved on with your life. So be aware of that. Um, but I think really the uh, being an advice <laughs> and then eight of or eight of wands came up. So even if you do communicate with them at all, so there's an option not to communicate back here. It's up to you, Leo. Um, but if you do choose to communicate, the advice is uh, be very clear in your communication so that people don't get the wrong idea or can't twist your words or. Um, Use them against you. Use your words against you. What advice do we have for romance angels, please? For Leo for this weekend and the situation. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Now, I think that that is relating to this new person, not the old person. So it's sort of sensing, like this is pretty really positive, like it's radiating off the table here. It feels really good on this side. And I'm like bored with this side, this past energy. I'm like, oh, been here, seen this, done it before, bought the t-shirt and sent a postcard. Children, your love life is being affected by children. It's possible that you have children with this past person. Um, and that's kind of how they're trying to um, not manipulate you, but but just get back on top and get control of the situation again. They might be trying to use um, the kids against you, um, or uh, you might have nieces, nephews, who knows? But there may be um, they might be leveraging children somehow to get this conversation with you. Okay, Leo. Like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe um, if you like hanging out. Make sure you subscribe so you get the notifications. Uh, and if you want the bonus read for the next uh, set of readings, make sure you like this video so that Leo has the most likes. All right, have a great weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.